When I was a kid in elementary school, I believe, um, you know, so this was probably like, I don't know, call it seven years old, uh, there was this bike race in Burlingame. It was called the Burlingame Grand Criterium. Uh, and so basically with crits, there are these very kind of small circuits that people will race around on their bikes. And so it's like NASCAR is the way I describe it because because those tracks are so small, the crowd can see all the cycling happen. And especially in America where there's not as much kind of okayness with people closing down huge sections of public roads for cycling races. Like they only get like, you know, one or two city blocks to, to play with. So basically uh, these, these criteriums are where you've got, you know, maybe each lap is you know, maybe a mile or two, I don't know, but it's it's not that big. Um, and so you just do dozens of laps in this race, and then, you know, there's a bunch of action, there's always sharp turns, there's tons of crashes on these sharp turns, uh, there's sprints, so like in Burlingame they had this like final sprint at the end, uh, and the finish line's at the end of the, at the end of the, straight so it's just like you just get you know and that's where the audience is so it's kind of like Lamar where you've got you know the spectators right there watching these cars kind of you know try to get past but it's now with bikes and it's just it's it's a really cool bike race um and uh when i was a kid they, they actually they have a, a kids race for that too it's the same exact track but instead of doing you know, I don't know, 50 laps, the kids would do one or two laps of that. And, um, yeah, and they get to be like under 10 years old or something or 12, I don't know, but it's for kids. Um, and so basically, uh, when I was growing up, um, you know, my dad was, a he was a general practitioner and he, he, really enjoyed getting to attend these things and watch the, the racing because he raced uh, for Team Velosport back in the 80s and uh, there's some really great pictures of him um, doing that but basically like um, you know he, he would show up as a team doc and he would enter uh, me into the the youth races and um, I just remember like I had a so my my flashback was of this of this race that I did when I was really young, and um, so basically I was very small. I'm not the tallest person, um, and I had a little bike. It was a single speed bike. It was like a street bike kind of. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, it was it was a tiny little bike, one speed, and. Um, you know, I remember that the night before, my dad was <laughs> giving out his really special tub of, of campy grease. It's like this, it wasn't, you know, black or gray like other grease. It was like this kind of yellow, pasty, creamy color. And, you know, my dad was just so in love with Campagnolo and everything that he did. He just, so he had this like super special grease that he was, you know, taking my bike apart with and grease in the hubs on the wheels in the bottom bracket and he was uh, cleaning the bike and I, I remember I asked my dad like why why are you cleaning this bike because it doesn't matter like I don't care if it's dirty or not and my dad was telling me like you know this is for sponsors like you gotta make sure you're wearing clean stuff for the sponsors so that you know when you're sponsored they can see who's sponsoring you you know and I was just like this little kid there's and and it was just so cute. Um, and yeah, so I uh, I remember that he was cleaning the, the frame and the you know and and making sure that the wheels were running as smoothly as they could and the, had the best grease it could possibly have. And um, I, I remember during the race uh, for the kids race, like I just I, I remember it so well. Um, I was you know, off to like a bad start. You know, I only had one speed on my bike and some of the other kids had like these road bikes that had multiple speeds on them so they could just, uh, you know, upshift and each pedal stroke was, took them farther than 
for me where I was like literally spinning my little legs as fast as I possibly could and I couldn't keep up. Um, but I was racing against kids that were, call it two times bigger than me probably. And they had bikes that could, you know, just upshift and go twice as fast. Um, and so, you know, when I was, when I was that kid back then, I was just so focused on being number one, on winning. Like I wanted to win more than anything. That was the most important thing for me was like just doing everything I could to be number one. And um, so during this race, uh, you know, we, we had done a lap we were already like a lap down and I think like I was overtaking people like I was I was making like my comeback and um I remember I think I, I I was like near the front somehow and I was just giving it the whole race I was literally just giving it everything I had pedaling as hard and fast as I possibly could and then like on the final corner for that final straightaway is when um there was this this kid who I thought like he's he's the lead racer like I don't see anyone else here so he must be this first place kid and I remember I was sprinting as hard and as fast as I possibly could down the main street to to try to beat this kid and um you know this was a bigger kid had a proper road bike with gears and um, you know, my dad was really cute. He <laughs> just put, you know, we were, we were wearing, um, the full face helmets that like you would see a, a dirt bike, a dirt, dirt motorcycle, you know, rider wear too. So you had the full, you know, their chin, everything was covered. And so, you know, if, if you, if you were watching this race, you would just see this little kid, um, with this huge helmet, just <laughs> go like this crazy. And, and, you know, and I was, I was fighting so hard to win and this, this guy, or, you know, kid at the time, uh, he was faster and stronger and bigger than I was. And he just, he was able to, to narrowly win. And he, he won that race. He got first, he finished first. And I just remember how sad and angry and frustrated I was that I didn't have it in me to win, you know, to, to finish first, to beat this kid. And to me at the time when I was young, it was devastating. Like I was so angry and, um, you know, I, so when I had this flashback, it was literally a dream last night, but this was a real memory. But in my dream, like I was at this race, I was in the stands and I was, uh, I was like a bystander. And I was standing next to like my dad and I was just seeing how proud he was. And like, I mean, I think, I think the most important thing that like, you know, my dad saw and like his dad told him and his dad told him like just so many generations of dads in my family who've told their sons and daughters, like, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you win, it's about knowing that you gave it your best. And so basically like in this dream that I was having, I was like looking at this race and just watching my dad see how hard I was trying to like win. Or like, you know, just, just, and it wasn't even about the winning part. Like that's the thing that my brain keeps confusing to this day, but it, it wasn't about winning. It wasn't about finishing first. It was that I was putting my heart into it. I was giving it everything I had in my heart, you know? And and when you know that you're giving it everything that you have in your heart, like it's okay if you don't win and you don't finish first. And that to me is the biggest lesson I think I need to take away from that is that like, you know, I have really high expectations of myself. I'm a very competitive person. Um, and it's hard to not win when you're, you know, and, and by win, I mean, not finish first, not be the best, but, you know, I think fortunately, or unfortunately during my childhood, I had multiple 
experiences where I just wasn't the best. I wasn't first. Um, there was always someone better than me, even though I know I gave it everything I had and I would be so angry afterwards and I'm so disappointed in myself for not winning. And, you know, being 25 now, I, you know, I wish I could go back in time and tell myself like, it's okay that you're not winning. You're, you're not, you're not finishing first because that's not the point of any of this. The point is that you're giving it everything you have in your heart. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. And so, um, you know, how does this apply to where I am right now in, in school? It's like, I feel like I'm in school right now. It's ridiculously hard, ridiculously challenging. And, you know, I, I can't say I necessarily feel like really outclassed by, you know, everyone around me. I do, like, I don't know, but, you know, everyone here is, you know, fantastic, brilliant, you know, whatever. I, I don't feel that way about myself. Um, but it's just like, I just feel like I'm back in that race as that little kid on that little bike with one speed, which is just <laughs> spinning my wheels as fast, the, the, the pedals as fast as I possibly can to try to keep up and, and do the best I can. And for me, the most important thing is to, to be just the bystander who's watching it happen and just know like everyone who's looking at you is super proud to see that you're just putting your heart into it. And so that's the most important thing. Like you might not enjoy the fact that like, yeah, you didn't win, you didn't finish first. Or maybe you didn't even finish the race, but your heart's in it. And so that's a memory I had that for me definitely is very applicable. And I guess in a, in a nutshell, <laughs> summarize, um, yeah, you don't have to finish first to win. And maybe you don't even have to finish to win. But the point is that you put your heart into it. And that's the most important part. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap things up with that. I hope everyone out there is doing well. I'm gonna study now for, it's Sunday, but I'm just gonna go study for school. Reluctantly, begrudgingly. Uh, and, uh, yeah.